But let's move on to our next story. And this also has to do with a particular senator, Godswell Papio, who has formally defected to the APC. He made the announcement at a mega rally that was held at the Ikotek Pena Township Stadium yesterday and declared that he was taking the state to the center. Now, no fewer than 30 APC senators and members of the National Working Committee were on hand to receive the ex-Senate minority leader, Akpabio. The Senate Majority Leader, Senator Ahmed Lawan, who introduced his colleague, spoke on Akpabio, whom he described as, quote-unquote, a nationalist and patriot who believes in Nigeria's unity. He said that this defection surpasses all other defections and that this is a defection that has shaken the opposition, the PDP. They followed Akpabio everywhere to prevent him from defecting, but he ignored them. He further said that Akpabio is a nationalist who believes in the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. Chukudi, Chukudi, so what's the score now? Well, with Akpabio's defection and with the, you know, the fanfare that greeted his move from uh, PDPFC to APC International. <laughs> Because you know when you are at the center and you are reigning, you are international. Yes, ma'am. So when you have been relegated to the background, PDP FC to APC International, where he's a star striker, especially looking at the south-south uh, geopolitical <laughs> yeah. zone of Nigeria. But the truth is, and I'm going to quote, you know, Nikita Khrushchev, politicians are one and the same. And they will tell you what you want to hear. These people will promise to build a bridge even where there is no water. Now, I saw the... Chairman of the APC, dancing Kukere, yesterday, he was even trying to second, you know, waving his broom, and he was so excited. And he spoke about how the PDP destroyed Nigeria for 16 years. Alas, perhaps they did not remind him that Senator Goswila Kwabio was governor of Akwaibom for eight solid years. Exactly, 2000. And he earned the name Uncommon Transformer. Mm -hmm. So yesterday he became Uncommon Defector because nobody expected that he was going to make the switch. You see, I looked at the thousands of people that came out to the stadium in the concert panel and were shouting change, progress, power, and the rest of them, and I felt nothing but pity for these people. And this is not because I have any personal issue with the APC as a political party, even though I do, with PDP as a political party, even though I do, or with Senator Goswil Akpapio, but it is just essentially because we have allowed ourselves to be used by people who do not care about us. If you revisit some of the things that Senator Gosula Kwabio said about the APC, you will be shocked and surprised that he could make the switch. I quoted Samuel Otom, the governor of Benue State, who three weeks ago defected from the, P from the APC to the PDP. In 2015, he said nothing good can come out from the PDP, and today he's back in the APC, in the PDP. Let's ask ourselves this question. It is easy for these politicians wearing APC Agbada but PDP boxers and singlets, to make the switch, you know, even, even footballers that used to switch. Messi has played all his life in Barcelona. Cristiano Ronaldo started from Sporting Lisbon, Manchester United, Real Madrid. He played for 10 years before going to Juventus. This ones crisscross every day. They, if they crisscross every day. And when the people of Nigeria continue to suffer, we are dealing with a dilapidated economy. We are dealing with derelict infrastructure. Our schools are in a state crippling power. And yet we have politicians that just switch, 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 switch in their best interest. And we go all out to shout and support them and come back home to our problems. It's not their business. They can do whatever they want to do. But as Nigerians, what we must do is say never again are we going to allow incompetent, irresponsible, and people that have no idea to preside over the administrative affairs of Nigeria. And the only way we can do that is, like I always say, participate in the process. Go out there, get your PVC. Do not just wait for February 16th or March the 2nd. From as little as the position of a councillor to the biggest position as that of the president, we must begin to check the background of these people, scrutinize them, and get them to answer the pertinent questions. And the pertinent questions are, what is the very essence of government? How are you going to ensure that you deliver on your promises and see that Nigeria moves forward? And this time around, we should not even look at the pro those who are hinging their elections on the promises of God. I know in 2007, Akpabio's slogan was, let God's will be done when he was being elected into office. I, I wish I could ask him, is he a party now? Is he part of God's will as well? So his name is God's will now. He even said it. We, there was an interview where he was wearing sunglasses, sun, sunglasses <laughs> around after seven in the evening and said I'll his name is God's now. will. Anything, God's will, God's will. Nigerians, see, I always say, first, when anybody comes to you to say, God called me, oh, please, 
Which number did God call you? Call you with? And what voice did God have? What was voice did God? Deep? Which was tone did God use? The Let one did God say to no. copy this tune? Call to uh. copy. <laughs> who, who did God call? <laughs> you see, here. Eh? Oh wow! You know, yesterday, Leila gave the shocking statistics that by 2050, Nigeria is going to have an estimated 400 million people. The reason why we are why we are where we are today is because we have failed to plan capitalize on the opportunities and consolidate on the gains today. We are here running around. Every four, four years, we come back. Every four, four years, we come back to the problems without dealing with them. If we are 198 million in 2018, and are by we 2050, not... we are going to be 400 million, and we are dealing with serious problems today that we are not addressing, See, what yeah. will happen? We'll, we'll probably be over sure. 200 million yes. by the time the elections even come about next year. Yes. But thankfully, next week, we're bringing someone on the show that's going to come and give us a lesson on governance. Let's just call it Governance 101, so that we can all have a basic understanding of the importance of good governance, because governance is 80% of a citizen's welfare. So if we don't have good governance, we're not going to have good welfare. So trust me, we got you on this one. We're going to bring you all the details on that. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.